Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is Alex and in this video I'm going to continue with my windowsill tour. As you can see it's a nice sunny day today so hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Um, so I could be wrong but I think we finished the video by going through all of these square pots and as you can see everything's come on a little bit since the last video that I made. Um, lots and lots of flowers, or flower spikes at least, shooting up. Um, and I've even had a little go at cross-pollinating two of them, so I tried cross-pollinating this sort of pygmy type one here with a an obtuser form, which is on the top shelf, this one here. So as you can see it's looking really healthy and we've got two flower spikes. And it probably won't focus but the flower in the foreground is the one that I try to to pollinate with. So I will start the video. So um, this one is still looking quite bad. So this is a Huarcia mutica van nigra, and I think I just need to water this one a little bit more. The um, the soil mix it's in is very gritty, and whilst the roots are starting to get re-established, it could do with more water than normal. So um, I need to make that a bit of a priority at the moment. Next up is a Huarcia simbiformis variegata. As you can see, it's quite highly variegated. Um, and one side is primarily green, and the other side is primarily white, so I've got the green side facing the window. Apologies if I've already gone over these in the first part. I must admit, I haven't gone back and watched it, so it's very, very possible that I'm just repeating myself, but it has been a few days, and <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, here we go, this is Gasteria gracilis variegata, and as you can see it's got these white stripes along with the green. Next up is Gasterello green ice. And then up at the front is another one which could do with some more water. This one is Hawthia argentio maculosa. Um, and then next up we've got Hawthia coarctata with all these little white bumps on the leaves, tubercles. And then if we pull back, we've got a Hawthia hatsukoi. Which you could also do with some more water actually. I think the whole windowsill is quite dry, especially with being on a black tray in black pots on a hot windowsill um, in a very gritty mix. Things will be drying out quite quickly, but I must admit my focus of attention at the moment has not been indoors, it's been outdoors. Uh, there's lots of flowers in the garden at the moment and I've been trying to grow vegetables, so the succulents are being a little bit neglected, so it's good to make this video actually so I can just check on everything. This one is a Rideriana. I'm sure I'm repeating myself. I, for some reason I remember covering that one in the last video. Um, and then this one is has actually been repotted since I last I made the first part. And I'm not sure on the exact name of it but I think it's a pygmy of some form. So it's got these white surfaces. Um, and then these windows around the edges. I've put it into a, uh, a terracotta pot. And it has quite a nice long inflorescence. With all these little flowers on it. And if you've not seen horsey flowers before, they're not particularly special, but 
they are quite unique. Um, there's a, a very specific fly insect, I believe, in, in South Africa, which pollinates these, which has a, um, a, a body part which is able to go into the flower and, and extract the nectar from the end. So next up is a, another Hawthia, and this, I'm sure I've already covered this one, but I'm going to show you it again anyway, just in case. And this is Hawthia sugar plum, and it's um, doing really well, looking really healthy. A little bit dry, if anything, which is very much like the rest of the plants, I guess. And this one has an inflorescence in the centre. It's got these really beautiful windows. Next up is a Horthy Retenuata Enon, which is really nice. Nice firm leaves. So that's that one. I think I need to do, start doing some more top down shots because I think a lot of the Horthy look best like that. Um, so this one here is Hawthia cuspidata, again a little bit on the dry side. And the way I would tell that, especially with this plant, is to squeeze the leaf. And if I can feel a little bit of, a little bit of give in it, that usually tells me that it's quite, quite thirsty. But also just looking at these pups, they look a little bit dehydrated, so. This one is Hawthia royal highness which is very stressed at the moment. It's very browny, reddy, um, with just as the, the centre being green. So that's that one. And then if we pull back, we've got horse, uh, sorry, Gasteria Little Warty. Which, as, as you may have heard me say in the past, sorry, I'm falling over inflorescences at the moment. Um, it's a little bit like braille on the surface with all these little dots. It's very alien looking. But yeah, as you can see, loads of pups. Which are all looking healthy. So that's that one. Another one which is looking thirsty is this one. This is a Gaster Allo um, Tiger, I believe it's called. But as you can see, it's taken on this kind of golden green glow to it. And it's a little bit dry because I can see the, the lower leaves are starting to shrivel a little bit. So I'll have to water that one soon. Next up, I've just watered this one actually in the last day or two, probably yesterday actually. This is a Hawthia um, Grey Ghost, and as you can see, it's a, a variegated plant. But this one's in the largest square pot on my windowsill, I think it's around 14 centimetres. Um, yeah, it's definitely looking better after the watering. So that's that one. Next up is a um, a cactus, which is a rare sight on the windowsill. So this is a um, Gymnocalisium mihavanici, and this one's starting to wake up a little bit um, because, as you may be able to see on this areole here, there is some new growth developing. So that's either a um, it looks to me like a flower or the beginning of a flower bud um, but it could also be a pup as well but there is also another one which has some signs of life uh, just here so I did give this one some water maybe a week ago once I started to see signs of, of that coming through 
And then last on the lower section is my Crisula Ovata, which is um, a little bit sparse in places in the centre, but I think now that it's in a new soil mix, which is a little bit um, more moisture retentive and has more nutrition in it, um, I think it will start to grow quite well and fill in a few of these patches. But yeah. And sorry if you can hear the, uh, the little fan that's spinning here. Um, but I think it's quite important on a day like today. I've actually got the window open as well, so you may have heard people walking past. So, sticking to my rule of 10 minute videos, I'm going to end this one here. And then um, in the next video, I will give you a look at the top shelf, which has got a few plants on it, such as um, the obtuser, which I showed you before. I've got two up there a uh, Chrysula platyphylla vericata. A, um, a variegated Kalanchoe, an Aeonium, a Chrysula Decepta, a Astrophyta Myrostigma, and a Chrysula Hummel Sunset. And in fact, I'm going to quickly show you the Hummel Sunset because it's a really nice colour at the moment. Okay, so I've decided I will wait until the next video because I'm just getting a bit carried away, but give you some last shots of uh, this mirror ball and some of the other water in these square pots and I really hope you're all doing well. So I just wanted to add as well that I've decided to make um, my photo albums free to view at the moment because I know a lot of people aren't able to get out into their gardens perhaps or, or they don't even have a garden, they're, um, they have an indoor space to grow in. Whereas I still live at home with my parents and they have a garden and uh, it's really beautiful and I've been out there most days and I'm often taking a lot of photographs, so uh, quite a long time ago I decided to make some photo albums which I shared with people on my Patreon account um, or if they sent a donation on PayPal and I quite regularly update those uh, photo albums but at the moment I thought with people not being able to get out much and um, I think we're all in need of as much nature and kind of calming scenes as possible. I thought I would try and do my bit and make those photo albums available for free. Um, they're not particularly special. I'm not a I'm not a um, professional photographer or anything, but I um, I really hope you'll enjoy them regardless. So I'm going to leave the links to those in the description. And um, the best way to access them is if you have a phone or a tablet and you download Google Photos and then download the link, uh, sorry, and then press on the link and join the album and then that way every time I release a new photograph um, you'll be notified and you'll be able to uh, look at it and comment on it as well and ask any questions so yeah I really hope you guys um, will enjoy that and I look forward to hearing from you down in the comment section so um, I hope you're all staying safe and until next time.